Next one. Do you have an example of a good script, like a pitch script for a prospect customer? Um, yeah. I mean, yes and no, I don't have anything I can share with you here, but um, you know, I just use the spin selling methods. That, that's the whole point about guys spin selling. If you don't know, that's a book S P I N situation problem. Um, uh, I can't remember I, and then it's need payoff. Um, anyway, it, it's a book by Neil Rackman. I think it is Rockman or something like that. Um, but it's called spin selling. That's the method I've been using for sales for years for digital marketing, you know, SEO sales. Um, it works really well. And here's the thing, when you position yourself as an authority, which is what you do when you're a niche specialist agency, a boutique agency that specializes in one particular vertical or industry, and perhaps a specialization within that industry, you are already elevated as to an authority position, okay? Versus a me too agency, a generalist, which is like, you know, uh, a jack of all trades, master of none. Um, you're a master of that particular industry or that specialization within an industry. So uh, it, it becomes a lot easier. The whole dynamic, the whole sales dynamic changes when the prospect seeks you out versus you forcing yourself upon a prospect, if that makes sense. So when you position yourself properly, then the sale becomes so much easier. It's really is a, it's an exercise in question, like question answering. And that's what the spin selling method is, is you just ask the prospect questions and listen, shut up and listen, ask the right questions in the right order and listen to their answers. And they lead themselves to make the decision that you're their solution to their problem. If that makes sense. And that's where the whole directory authority positioning model that I've been mentioning that I've developed over the last year and a half really puts you in that position as an authority and they seek you out. And, and again, it's just, it's, it's, it's an easy it's different when you're trying to force a sale upon a cold prospect. Then you have to be a lot more aggressive and you have to convince them first that they have a problem. Then you have to convince them that you're the solution. When you, have, when you position yourself properly, they already know they have a problem and they look and seek you out to be their solution. And then it's just a matter of information gathering to close the sale. And that's, that's essentially, again, if you, if you, if you, if you want to learn a, an effective sales method for high ticket items, or for high ticket sales, or for sales with a monthly recurring, you know, recurring um, uh, with a recurring fee, like a, 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 a monthly retainer type, like what we sell on a retainer basis um, for SEO services, spin selling is, is, is by far the best or most appropriate sales method. And it's about asking questions and everything else. And again, that's why positioning is so important. Um, Dan Kennedy says, stop prospecting and start positioning. And I, I totally buy into that because I've seen it happen in my own business since I became, uh, since I focused in on tree stuff, if that makes sense. So I don't have anything I can share with you, but that right there is go, go pick up spin selling, get the book or the audio book and um, follow it and start practicing it. Um, and you'll get better results. Do you think we need to find a sales guy to do the sales myself or do the sales myself because technical stuff and sales are two different things? Yeah, it depends. If you suck at sales and you just don't and you, and you don't want to do it, then yeah, it, it might make sense to get a salesperson. Um, I generally recommend that you start learning how to sell first before hiring somebody else because you can kind of dial in what works. And it, it's not fun at first, guys. But once you once you again, if you position yourself properly, sales become a lot easier. Because they already know that they want, they already have a, a really good idea that, they, well, they, they already know they have a problem when they, when they seek you out. Um, so again, it, it changes the dynamic. But, um, you know, I'm not crazy about sales, but that's why, I, so cold sales to cold prospects is not something I enjoy doing. I know we're over on time, guys. I'm about done. Um, but again, when, now when I get, a, a, like I just, I, it, about three weeks ago now, I landed a new tree contractor that came to me through my directory. And it was super easy. Guy left me a voicemail message because I don't ever answer my phone. I don't answer cold calls. And um, so I, he left me a message on my business line, uh, said, you know, hey, I'm looking to get some help with some tree service you know, for my, uh, some SEO help for my tree service. Um, give me a call back. And we played phone tag for like three or four days. And then finally we got on a call um, and it was one of the easiest sales I've ever made. And it was again, because he already expected me to be an authority because of the directory site and kind of the presence that I've made. And that is a hell of a lot easier. And so, I, again, I hated selling before and I probably still wouldn't want to do it if I was doing cold sales and like, you know, like trying to sell to cold prospects, but a warm prospect or a lead that seeks you out first, it is so much easier. The whole, um, the, the whole kind of experience changes because now they already are expecting, like they know they need help. 
and they're looking for you to be the one to provide the solution. Um, and that's, that's, that's what works best for me. So, but yeah, if you suck at sales and you have no desire to do it, you can either bite the bullet, force yourself to get better at it, which is kind of what I recommend, at least initially in your business, um, to figure out what works, what messaging work, works, which pitch works, all of that, uh, which questions to ask. And then once you kind of dial it in, you start to have some success, then you can outsource it and guide a, you know, a salesperson into the, the process that you've developed so that they're more successful. It's hard if you're paying salary, like it's hard to find a commission only uh, salesperson anyway. But if you're paying a salary, like a base salary, plus bonuses or commissions and things like that, um, you can end up pissing a lot of money away for them to never be an effective salesperson, which is why I recommend you, you dial in the sales process first, and then you, you hire it out because then you can give them kind of like a, a game plan, a standard operating procedure, if you will, for what works in selling to that particular type of uh, business owner, if that makes sense. So... Anyways, okay, guys, um, 